Hey, what's up you guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about nine tips on how to become better as a 3D modeler. So the first thing, of course, we're gonna talk about is practice. So in order to be good, you need to practice a lot. This is something very obvious and this is something that you should do at the early stages of learning and development and after all you want to make progress and if you're not practicing enough of course you're not going to make progress or at least the amount of progress you're making is not going to be efficient uh, or is not going to be enough to push you forward in order to grow at a momentum or at a rate that is going to allow you to see that progress as you go and of course in order to practice you're going to figure out what is it the best method that is going to work for you and also the techniques and the exercises you're going to try to implement in order to make more progress and uh, i would say if you are a complete beginner you need to spend at least one hour or two hours a day trying to learn the tools and trying to understand uh, the software that you're you're working with and trying to actually um, grab the essential concepts behind 3d modeling and um, probably if you are if you are advanced and if you know your ways around 3D modeling, then um, then probably this video isn't for you in the first place. You can actually spend four to six hours every day in order to see a significant amount of progress in your art and in your 3D modeling skills. And also you can practice alone or you can practice with your friends or you can compete with others online on, in forums or in any uh, sort of other communication or uh, with any other type of groups you want to learn with and if you have friends or something like that that you can actually um, share your progress and share your tips and share your skills and techniques with this is going to be even better a tip number two i want to talk about is uh, at first you, you want to commit one to one software because so many softwares are in the market and to choose one is going to be a tremendous task to get over and also in order to learn that software is going to be another difficult obstacle that you need to spend a lot of time with uh, in order to tackle so i would say uh spending or actually figuring out what are the software that you're going to use as a 3D, as a beginner in 3D modeling is going to be a very important thing. And to be honest, a lot of these softwares out there are amazing and choosing any one of these is going to be actually um, a decision that you, that you're probably not going to regret. And I made a lot of videos talking about 3D softwares. You can check them out. You can find them on my channel. The point I want to drive home from this point is uh, just commit to one software and stick to it because you don't want to be a dabbler, you don't want to be jumping from from software to another and uh, you, you don't want to be listening to what other or what others are saying about uh, certain aspects or of any kind of software. Just commit to one of these and start learning it because at the end, at the end of the day uh, the 3D modeling skills are universal across any uh, platforms or softwares and it just differs in the tools that are kind of existing uh, in, inside the software. And uh, uh, I would say if you have experience in 3D modeling, you, you're not going to find it harder switching softwares. Uh, the, the essential thing is to grasp and understand the basics of 3D modeling. Point number three is also about the software that you're going to use as a 3D modeler. You don't want to actually pick a software that, that is new or that that hasn't a lot of tutorials and um, if, the, if the software you're gonna if the software you're going actually to choose has to be popular and has to be powerful and has to actually have a lot of tutorials out there online if you want to learn it because uh, if you if you don't if you don't have an idea about how the three D softwares work, then you actually need help and you need a lot of tutorials and you need courses, you need instructions, you need information out there uh, from forums and probably social media and stuff. Just make sure that the software you're gonna choose is gonna be popular and it has a lot of information, a lot of tutorials out there. This is gonna be very important because you don't want to get stuck with something that is dead or something that is very new uh, you need to find something in between that is going to be affordable or for free and has a lot of information and a lot of uh, resources out there 
Tip number four is actually uh, about the tools necessary, uh, the, the most important tools that you want to learn in any 3D software. So first of all, if you want to actually find your way and uh, learn the software, first of all, you need to actually learn uh, the navigation tools and the essential tools like how to move and how to rotate and how to scale, how to do UV unwrapping and how to do texturing and rendering and stuff these are going to be the most important tools you're going to focus on and um any other um tools that probably are kind of hard to learn or or they, or they are ambiguous or they are necessary you don't really want to touch that at all just stay away from it just focus on the most important things and the things that get your work done because for me I use 3ds max a lot which is the standard software I use and there are a lot of tools that I don't know um, anything about because I don't need them and I don't want to spend so many um, so many hours trying to learn something that is not gonna add to my progress or to the to, to the job I'm doing so Try to focus on the most important things that that that, that are gonna that are gonna help you to do the uh, essential things you want to learn. Tip number seven, uh, actually tip number five, in order to become better, uh, this is a very important thing to understand early on. You don't want to spend a lot of time on theory and kind of introductions uh, and trying to learn the interfaces and kind of the, um, the the tools and as I said before but this is a different point you don't want to spend a lot of time on theory and the things that are not practical because at the end of the day what you're gonna learn uh, to be honest uh, from my experience um, theory is not gonna stick or is not gonna stuck in is not gonna get stuck in your mind and the things that you're gonna remember the most are the things that are gonna be practical and the things that you can actually put your hands on and you can you can replicate and you can actually work on and if you see examples or simple tutorials that you can do yourself this is gonna be uh, the best way of learning the software and these introductions and this kind of talk about what you what this tool does and what that does and kind of trying to understand this in all your mind I think this is not gonna work and also you don't want to waste so much time on uh, as I said before on introductory videos and um, learning the interface and learning the tools that you are probably not going to use so I suggest that you don't go direct practical become a practical person and jump straight ahead to uh, to simple tutorials and or even mid-level or advanced tutorials whatever uh, whatever you are right now and try to actually be more efficient with your time and with your energy Point number six is don't try to learn everything at once like modeling and animation VFX and a lot of these things out there. To be honest, if you want to learn everything, you are going to spend more than 10 years and you're not going to be good at all of them. So uh, my advice is you need to figure out early on what you are going to be. Either you're going to be a, an animation artist or a VFX artist. Or a 3d modeler so if you want to focus on 3d modeling you don't want to spend a lot of time on animation and VFX like I did before so uh, it was actually something funny when I look back at it right now I spent a lot of time with animation stuff and VFX and uh, that I don't really use these days so uh, if you can figure out early on what you are about and what you're going to do it's gonna be a lot better for you and uh, you're gonna actually you're gonna be uh, focused on your learning and uh, if you are gonna be um, if you are trying to learn 3d modeling you better focus on 3d modeling and this is gonna be or this should be the the area that you you spend um, the greatest uh, you, the greatest amount of your time on and you need to focus on it in order to uh, become better uh, other uh, otherwise you're gonna waste a lot of time in in other areas that you don't you don't really want to actually spend any time on uh, at least um, in the early stages number seven is actually if you want to become better at 3d modeling you need to make it a habit you don't actually want to uh, spend 10 hours a day um, modeling and you're not gonna, and, and the next week you're you're gonna do zero hours this is gonna be really um, this is a problem because in order to, to learn anything you want to have you want to make it a habit 
and you want to you want to in integrate it with your life and uh, your your schedule and um, I would say that um, doing one hour every day is better than doing 10 hours um, uh, at the end of the week because you want the tools and the techniques you're learning you want them to sink in your mind and you want them you want to automize them uh, uh, if, if this uh, if this is going to be uh, uh, if this is gonna be a long-term thing that you want to keep in your mind and in, in uh, and in your actually in your progress as you go forward, so you want to uh, make it a habit, even if if you do it for a little amount of time. Uh, I would say probably if you're gonna if you're gonna go as little as. Uh, 40 minutes or 30 minutes or one hour a day actually is going to be very um, very efficient and is going to be better than actually doing maybe I don't know maybe tens of hours uh, twice a month or once a week so um, uh, making a habit is going to be uh, is, uh, is going to be very beneficial for you in the long term. Uh, point number eight is actually an emphasis on what we a point that we talked about before, which is actually to which is actually to specialize in order to learn faster. So if you want to learn faster, you need to specialize. Let's just say you are about 3D modeling and you want to specialize even further. And um, for example, uh, you can be uh, an, an environment modeling artist. You can be a weapon modeling artist. You can be a character artist. You can be I don't know, maybe uh, some other stuff in inside 3D modeling, and uh, this is gonna give you an edge, and this is gonna actually help you to focus tremendously in order to get your work done. In in uh, I, I mean, your learning done in a very a very small amount of time, and you're gonna be better faster. So if you want to be an automotive modeling artist, you you're, you're about modeling cars. And vehicles and airplanes and stuff this is gonna be helping you to focus and become better and as I said before if you want if you if you are a weapons artist or if you are a character artist this is gonna help you to make progress faster and this is gonna help you to see results faster and of course in order to actually stay with anything or stick with it you need to see results this is what we people want and I would say um, trying to learn a specific thing early on uh, has a lot of benefit to it and this is gonna keep you going because your know, progress is, uh, is 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 one of the most important things to stay at it and keep going and keep pushing uh, long term and finally tip number nine is uh, I think this is the most important one please just don't give up because uh, I cannot tell you about how many people who come to me and came to me before trying to learn 3D because um, they see me doing 3D and stuff and they think it is cool and it is amazing and how kind of uh, how beautiful it is and how how they want to learn it and stuff they tell me all their plans but they freaking give up so um, I believe this is one of the most important things you need to learn if you are actually wanting to learn 3D and 3D modeling and stuff, you just don't want to give up because if you give up, all the things that I talked about before are are useless and they're not going to be uh, beneficial for you and you're not going to be able to implement them in your life. So um, please keep at it. Please keep learning and keep growing as an artist because uh, some, I understand that sometimes you feel like crap and you feel like you're useless and anything you do is uh, looks like garbage and stuff but please do understand that as you go forward and as you develop yourself as an artist you're gonna actually become better and um, uh, even even for me the work I've done last year I look back at it I, I think it is actually kind of not as good as it should be so it's it's a process and uh, that's why most people give up I think because uh, the the first and early stages are the hardest to go through and if you can keep it if you can keep it up 
and if, if you can push forward I believe you're gonna be great and you're gonna achieve great results and just see take a look around you all these thousands and hundreds of thousands of artists that are amazing that can do mind-blowing work and I don't I don't see why they are better than you and um, uh, I, I believe the only reason that they are better than you is they they did it before you obviously and they kept at it so uh, please don't give up and stay at it and if you want to learn about 3d my channel is full of tutorials about this hundreds of videos uh, I think it's gonna be um, a good thing if you check it out and yeah if you if you like this video please uh, give it a thumbs up to let me know if you like this type of content and maybe share it around if if you think this is gonna be something that you want to actually uh, help other people help other people with. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next one.